Hey everybody, it's your girl Elle, and I'm here right now doing a review on a product that I picked up, and it is the L'Oreal True Match Natural. Let me see. This is the mattifying mineral finish. Okay, and this is what the product looks like. Sorry, but it's getting onto my laptop and I don't like that but anyway I picked up this product because I was looking for a cheap alternative to uh, the MAC Crap and Prime uh, finish I was looking for a cheaper alternative because I was completely out of that so I went to my local altar store especially since there was a sale girls, girls gotta love a sale right well anyway I unfortunately for this particular sale L'Oreal wasn't on sale but this was one of the alternatives that came up because I wanted I didn't want to press powder I wanted something loose so that way I can uh, lightly dust it on and dust it off and so this was what came up let's see not to be able to see the words but it has a little kabuki brush and the bristles are soft it it did shed just slightly but I wanted to try this on myself I am not a very dark complected woman so I figured that if it worked okay on me it may be a possibility because this was my first time meeting this particular client so I wasn't sure of what type of skin tone she had so I tried this on me. Let me tell you, I hated it. I hated it. I didn't even try it on my client. Um, first of all, like, before I go all off and go ham on this product, let me tell you what it, the website says it does. True Match Natural Soft Focus Mineral Finish softens your look. It blends easily so that you can create a translucent, shine-free poreless finish okay yeah that's what the website says but for me mm -mm, that didn't work for me when you think translucent you're to me I think of I'm going to be able to use this product on any skin tone whatsoever no matter if they're the fairest of fair or if they're the darkest of dark and that didn't happen with this okay it left now unfortunately with some um, loose powders you may notice that for the darker complexion it leaves almost like a white shadowy cast on your skin and no one likes that I know I don't like it and I'm not that dark so for it to leave that kind of shadowy you know what I'm gonna show you so this is the product and this is the brush that it gives you now yes I did try it with different brushes just to see how it would do okay so Watch this. Okay. Now, this is the cheek that I just, wait. This is the cheek that is without. This is the cheek that is with. And you can see for yourself that this cheek seems a bit wider. And that's because it's giving me that white cast. I already have on a uh, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish so that was the product that I was using and I'm, as you can see I'm really trying to blend it in like I'm seriously trying with this product and nothing. It makes me look fake to me because you can see my natural skin finish and I'm not this light I'm really not and it it doesn't work for me so again I'm not that light and <laughs> so for my darker complected clients this would never work they would never come back to me again I would lose I would lose and look I'm trying to build not lose okay so for those of you who are looking for a cheaper alternative I'm sorry you're like me we're gonna have to keep searching because 
this ain't one of them. This is actually going back to the store today. So I'm getting my money back for this. I don't like it. It doesn't work for me. Okay? But anyway, I hope that you found this in review informative and you won't waste your money trying this product like I did. Because I'm so disappointed with it. I was thinking, oh, yeah, I've heard so many, you know, nice things about L'Oreal products. And, you know, maybe this will really work for me. No. No. I'm sorry. Epic fail. Total epic fail. But it's your girl, Elle. And I hope you all enjoyed this review. I hope you found it informative. And see you soon. Bye.